Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming, and we've kind of been up and down about this 27.5 mid chapter. Some stuff we really dislike. We played the PTB, it was kind of a hot mess. They have rolled some back stuff, like how much they've dinged the medkits, how much they've dinged Billy. But we're going to take a look at what actually is rolling out at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and have a good time with it. Let's see what's going on in that actual mid chapter. All right, the 6.7 mid. Let's take a look and see what's actually coming. Now, it's releasing today at 11. Uh, map rework for Auto Haven, Boss's Lodge. We kind of knew that was coming. If you saw when we played in the PTB, you kind of know what's going on there. Tome 15 Ascension will arrive tomorrow at 11 a.m., which means we will be streaming Dead by Daylight on Wednesday. Core memory challenge. These challenges task survivors kill restore lost memories, finding memory shards scattered throughout the trials, restoring them to unlock fragments in journals. As with glyph challenges, upcoming tomes will introduce a new variant of the core memory challenge, providing more varied experiences the archive of each tome. Light burn has been removed from all applicable challenges descriptions and challenge requirements. Adjusting the challenge requirements for the challenges 1 to 5 and 12 so they're better aligned with the challenges difficulty of the tier. The tomes and the level the archives pretty easy all right let's look at the features uh light killer interactions we're removing killer specific light interactions that was all the stuff we talked about previously with like nurse hag race so on and so forth. pretty easy general healing decrease the bonus on successful healing great skill checks from five to three percent here's your killer tweaks hillbilly he did not get nearly as whack as he was going to be so less heat added upon rev less heat when revving and more heat added one sprint easy pig joins medical file add-on increase crouch speed from 10 up increase crouch speed moves by 10 percent was six cenobite lament configuration will now teleport if the cenobite stands on it for five seconds clown we already know Pinky is going down from 3 to 2. Nightmare, Sheep Block, Triggering, Dream Snares, or Dream Pallets includes blindness for 60. Now was 30 seconds. Unicorn Block, Triggering, Dream Snares is blindness for 90 seconds was 60. So, I mean, they're trying to help Freddy, but let's be honest, he's hot garbage still. Scarlet Egg add-on for Executioner, increased duration of Killer Instinct rights by 3 seconds. And here's Oni, Black and Nail, increased movement speed while absorbing blood 0.4 milliseconds was 0.3 and Bloody Sash, increased milliseconds absorbing 0.7 was 0.6 easy peasy not a whole lot let's take a look at those perk updates scourge hook pain resonance uh we all know you start with four trial hooks we talked a lot about what was going to happen with all these perks so basically it's a, a ding to scourge hook a ding major ding to circle of healing dead hard is pretty much just obliterated brian got dinged overcharge overzealous all got dinged gearhead got buffed now I'll go over quickly, go over Gearhead. We already kind of talked about the other ones, pretty agnosium. After Survivor loses a health state by any means, Gearhead activates for 30 seconds. While Gearhead is active, every time a Survivor performs a good skill check while repairing, their aura is revealed for six, seven, and eight seconds. So a buff to Gearhead. I don't know anyone who's ran this in a long time, but we might see it come back now that a lot of the slowing perks have really been crushed. Boon Circle of Healing is totally dead. Dead Hard is pretty much totally dead, so both of those survivor perks have just been crushed into the ground. Now let's talk about medkits. All right, so I'm gonna go into this because they did kind of reduce how much they crushed them from when we previously reported on them. Camping A, 24 charges was 16. Increase the speed by 35% was 25%, so kind of okay. Uh, when healing yourself, 33%. New, unlock self-healing action. Uh, first aid, 24 was 24. Uh, the speed to heal others is 40, was 35. So they upped healing others. Healing yourself is down to 33. Unlock self-healing action. So uh, emergency med kit, 24 charges was 16. Ranger med kit, 24 charges was 32. All Hollows Eve lunchbox, 24 was 24. Anniversary, 24 was 24. Masquerade, 24 was 24. So they took away the charges from the Ranger med kit, which makes absolutely no sense to me, but they did up it to 50% healing others was 35. Everything, though, down the board is 33% yourself. It's kind of weird. It's really bad. They've kind of reduced some of the medkit add-ons. So, I mean, 
healing is definitely going to be a big complaint when it comes to this chapter. All right, you got the blood web improvements. We did an actual short on that. If you didn't see it, you can now basically auto buy an entire page where it randomly chooses what you want, or you can click to like a perk and it'll just feed to it. It's pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What have we done the fixes since the PTB? Now this I want to actually go over line by line because I want to see what adjusted. We all had a pretty poor time on the PT if you were surviving. Even if you were killing, it was still kind of weird with all the sl gen slowdown destruction. Leaving the blood web menu, automatically purchasing no longer breaks the blood web. Canceling automated purchases no longer breaks the blood web. Switching characters during automated purchase will no longer leave possible, could lead to self lock state. The cost of blood web note chain ending in a rare or very rare perk is now displayed correctly. Blood web no longer soft locks when pressing the automated purchase button with low points. Automated purchase no longer stops midway due to entity shenanigans. Oh, not the entity shenanigans. Audio cues, claiming nodes, automated purchase are removed. Uh, speed of automated purchase increased. Total chain price for node has been modified with a new icon. Center node automatically purchases no now disabled with enough blood points. Fixed interaction related with the blood web center and fix the soft lock. All right, whatever. Yeah, I thought this was going to be actual fixes. It was just blood web stuff. Miscellaneous anonymous mode is now available on consoles. So they brought anonymous mode back. Welcome back, anonymous mode. It was available only for SBC players. The high player name setting is also hide the killer's name in custom games. Cinematic video files are now stored in bank format and undetectable effects mutes the audio progressively in all cases to mimic the killer moving away. Previously, there was an add-on that was removing the terror rates instantly. All right. Changes from PTB killer tweaks. All right. Killer tweaks. We just basically undid the shit we did to Billy, which they should have because it was bad. Perks. Dead hard now activates when you were unhooked or unhooked yourself. Scourge pain resonance affects 15, 20, and 25%. And bonus circle of healing affects now 50, 75, and 100%. General healing, reverted survivor healing interaction second to charge from 24 to 16. Med kit update. Uh, so we basically, we just decreased all the speeds straight down the board. So everything sucks more. You're gonna see the exact same thing with the med kit add-ons. If you look at them, pretty much just straight bone so healing is gonna be something else and if you were a person who relies on healing a lot you might want to consider no mither we might see the dawn of a new mithers generation so prestige your david if you haven't already bug fixes all right uh near miss survivor challenge now count when avoiding the Hits while the killer is carrying another survivor. Near miss survivor challenge no longer count attacks while in dying state or on hook. The physical tantrum killer challenge now counts progress from palace destroyed when vaulted by a survivor activated by the skull merchant's claw trap. Okay, whatever. Um, some audio fixes. A lot of stuff is in the blood web. Uh, nothing too exciting here. Fix the delay in terror radius suppression when gaining undetectable with Billy's out on iridescent brick or leafy mash. Uh, you know, a bunch of thoughts. Some bot shit, who cares? If you're playing with bots, enjoy, but I really don't care about bots. So, but bots are now better. They just keep making them better every patch. Yay! Uh, characters. Looks like some skull merchant stuff with drone deployment. Well, that, you know, definitely needs to be done. Making it less choppy. Spirit's arm pieces will no longer clip together. Yay! She has two arms again. Go, Spirit! Uh,. Same thing with Legion, uh, canceling hits. Female Legion cosmetics no longer use male walking animations. That's good. Picture no longer remains standing while crouching. Okay. Select killer mores will no longer cause survivor's camera to fade to gray. Eh, whatever. Hags trap the second time after wiping it. Nurse can no longer blink while being hit by a flashlight. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Dredge may no longer become invisible. Now, this was important because, like, he was having... He, like, actually had to be kill-switched for it. The Cannibal, the Hillbilly, the Trapper twins now correctly have their power vi visible on the tally screen. And Clown may no longer push survivors while reloading his tonics. Environments. You know, you know mist in basements. Skull Merchant Drones Deployment, Nightmare can no longer trapped in Asylum, you know, nothing too exciting, blah blah blah, fix an issue with Garden Joy Zombies could not patrol the greenhouse, uh, like, this is just a whole lot of nothing, a whole lot of nothing, we've talked about the big stuff a lot already, and I was more focused on what they reverted, 
All right, let's talk about perks. Scarehead no longer activates when Survivor DCs. Scarehead no longer activates when Survivor gains a health state. Throw the Hunt now grants extra blood points as a perk. Merciless Storm can no longer cause generator progress to regress while the generator is blocked. And Merciless Storm can also not cause the generator to lose progress while succeeding the skill check. There's some UI adjustments, you know, mostly within Mori's and flashlights, nothing too exciting. Added prompt icons to support PS5 controller when playing on PC. So if you're a PC player that uses a haptic feedback PS5 controller, congratulations, you got more support. Miscellaneous equipping cosmetics having unique voice lines should now have the subtitles always in sync. Invited a player in the PS5 lobby made on PS4 or vice versa should now work correctly even if the inviting player does not have the game running. So my god. And one last known issue. The visual terror radius is not correctly showing on the killer's lullaby. Okay. Um, did we get the hearts? Did that, was that added? I didn't see that was listed in anything. Hmm. Didn't see it. There you have it. We now know that one, the tone will start tomorrow just like it always has. There was kind of this going on will it drop with the patch will it not so it's going to drop on april 19th we'll have the new rift then and if you want to buy it and you have your prime you can then use the 10 skips if you want to wait the following week the next wednesday a whole week just playing on the free track you can then get your prime reward and use it for free i will be giving away two free rifts next wednesday when we play dead by daylight and that's pretty much it we're going to have a brand new Rift. 27.5 is here. The next update will be hopefully the anniversary. And we'll see what, if anything, is coming in that. Hopefully there is a license killer and survivor for the anniversary. I don't want to see a repeat of Dredge and Hattie from last year. I know there's a huge Hattie group out there but let's be honest it was a lackluster anniversary update it would have been fine any other time of the year the last two chapters have not been received very well with forged and fog as well as tools of torment so hopefully we see something big to get everyone excited i know the only reason i'm really excited is because of ash you put ash in the tome you put ash in the riff as an Evil Dead content creator, mostly, I am super excited about that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything you thought I just breezed over, let me know that too. As always, thanks for watching, and later, mates.